How many times have I done this, and I still hate it? I swear, Abbott's full enough already. <laughs> At least when you escort an inmate to death row, you know he's scheduled to get what he deserves. Ernesto, you can really be a jackass, you know that? But you hear what this one did? I don't wanna know, and you know what I- He beat his ex-wife to a bloody pulp. Killed her with his fists. Look, I said I didn't- Then he drowned one son in the tub, and threw the other out a window. Don't ask me to cry for him. Whew. Inmate. Is this true? Oh, he won't say. Claims he blacked the whole thing out. <laughs> A likely story. The needle's too good for him. Filthy inmate. They should all die. Willie's bed isn't even cold yet, and already they brought in a new guy. I heard he killed his old lady and kids. Sick motherfucker. Be quiet, you jerry curled fool. Don't you know who that is? Why should I? That's Tork, the man himself. Word is he shaved half the Aryan Brotherhood over at Easton. So fucking what? I can understand a guy killing his old lady, but he popped his kids too. Motherfucker deserves to be strapped down and dosed. You believe what the COs tell you, Slick? You don't know shit about the man. I'm telling you, what I heard, he's all right. That cocksucker's not gonna be all right for long if he's in the row with the rest of us short time. Shut your cracker ass, Goose. Man's do respect. You show him respect. I decide who I respect, shit boy. Don't you go tell Quiet me. Quiet down in there. Some of you want to go back on the loaf? I didn't think so. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Neighbor. Nice to meet you. My name's Floyd. How long you got to your turn on the table, huh? You all out of appeals? Your lawyer fuck you? I read about your trial, they got no witnesses, all circumstantial evidence, no one knows what really happened but you. But you can't remember a thing, is that right? Best not to listen to him talk. Floyd's a degenerate parasite. They should have slapped the cuffs on him coming out of his mama's At least tongue. I know Jesus is with me, man. Whatever I've done, the Reverend says Jesus has forgiven me. Will you shut the fuck up, you baby-raping, sodomizing sack of shit! I was just asking the man a question, Goose. Whoa! What the fuck shit, is this shit? It's an earthquake! Fuck, what the hell's going on? The end times. CO, you gotta let us the out. Rapture. We're still humans, man. The whole we fucking got place rush. is coming down! Sweet Jesus, what the hell was that? Slick. You okay, man? Is the prison collapsing? Are we sinking into the ocean? CO! CO! What the hell's going on? Slick. What in the fuck just happened? Slick. Slick! Goose, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. And it wasn't me. If that's what you're thinking, I didn't touch that! What was that? Goose? For fuck's sake, what's going on? I was close. I thought we were done for. We gotta get out of this shit can before it collapses. Shit. There's something in here. It's in here! Help me! <laughs> In 
Inmate, back in your cell. Everything's under control. Thank God I made it into the light. I think I'm safe in the light. You've got to get me out of here! No!
gotta get out of there. That island's more than just a prison. It's so much worse. It brings out the worst in everyone. Get out of there, T. Run! Run as fast as you can! Contained in these pages are my observations of the bizarre creatures that have appeared on Carnate Island since the cataclysm struck. The creatures emerge in a variety of ways, but many of them appear to come from within the island itself, as if the very earth of Carnate were poisonous and vile. Though I scarcely have time to keep a journal like this while trying to keep myself alive, my inquisitive nature forces me to write down what I see, in the hope that I might better understand it. But how can this unspeakable horror possibly be understood? It is as if Carnet's horrific sins, both past and present, are being brought to life in a pageant of death. Slayer, I first witnessed these creatures jumping out of the ground itself. Their heads were detached from their torsos, held aloft by hideous contraptions. Their limbs have been replaced by blades of the sharpest steel. To my eyes, they appear to be a manifestation of decapitation. Yet it seems improbable anyone ever had their head chopped off an abbot. I suppose on Carnate anything is possible. I have dubbed these monstrosities slayers. When Ernesto took his job at Abbott, I was far from excited. When he told me we would need to move to Carnate Island as well, I was not happy at all. But I tried to find a good side to the situation. I have always been interested in the history of unique places. What kind of history would we find on Carnate? This scrapbook project was started primarily to fill my time here, but also so I could record what I had discovered. In my exploration of the island, I uncovered many of Carnate's secrets. Though I record them here, I do not think I will tell the world about what I have found. Carnate is a place whose secrets are best kept to itself.
Hold it right there, or I will cut you down. You hear me, inmate? Do you hear me? Give him a chance. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the hell with protocol. Everything's gone to shit. Right now, I prefer a murdering scum from the road to one of those monstrosities. We got a better chance to survive if we stick together. But you will do exactly what I say, or I will punch a hole in your sorry ass. Got it? Calm down, T. Fuck him. Don't let your agents When I've seen these die. bastards spawn, prefer to stay in the dark. Go get a flashlight from the break room down the hall. And no funny stuff, or I will blow your head off. Comprende? What's going on? All right, you got a light. We gotta head downstairs to get out of this shithole. And you better stay out of my way. If I need to shoot more of those fuckers, I will not hold my fire on your account. You read me? Yourself all right for an inmate. Carnate Island's got a strange history, and Abbott is one fucked up who's gal. And let me tell you, we better stay away from the fucking basement. If things are bad up here, down there, it's gonna be like the mouth of hell. I always saw the good in you. Help me! God damn! What the hell was that? I gotta stop. check it out. Stay here! when I was done.
I told you I didn't want you here. It's, it's better this way, Ma. Now, come on, Ma. Don't cry. It's not doing anybody any good at all. You know I love you, right? And the Reverend said I won't feel a thing. running the show now, suckers. This here's MC 25 to life, and I want you to know that I am calm like a bomb. Let me tell you, I done seen more dead seals today than I ever dreamed I would, and I want to say they all had it coming. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I like it.
The island. Carnate Island is approximately three miles wide and lies some ten miles off the coast of Maryland. In addition to man-made structures, Carnate is also home to a labyrinthine natural cave system unlike anything I have seen before. Through my studies, I learned of the island's dark and unsettling history. Though it may sound ridiculous to say it, Carnate seems to bring out the worst in those who make the mistake of coming here. Abbott State Penitentiary. 
Originally built as part of Fort Malleson to house German POWs during World War II, it was taken over by Maryland following the war and converted into Abbott State Penitentiary. Mostly built out of local quarry rock, the prison is now home to nearly 1,000 inmates and has the worst safety record and highest homicide rate of any prison in the Maryland Department of Corrections system. The state also carries out the majority of its death sentences here. The Death House The most ominous structure inside of Abbott is the Death House. Electrocution, gas, and lethal injection have all been used within its walls, though only the last is still used today. The Death House is also the prison's oldest structure, built as the administration building when the prison was a POW camp. Its basement was also built during the war, and in it you can still see relics of that time. The basement has been closed off for 20 years. You alone until you do it. <laughs> 